Next up on our journey, Manoa from Tahiti Tourism wanted to show me around the municipal market here in Papayette. Welcome to the market. So where uh, all the local gather at noon to get their, their lunch. So yeah, it's a very popular place. Is it more locals or tourists or is it a mixture? Oh, both. A mixture because like on this side of the market, you basically have all the arts and crafts. So yes, a lot of tourists here on, on this side. Here you have all the, like the food, food court. And we the local, we, we like to come here to grab like a sandwich or like some... That's where you come for lunch? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, usually I, I like some to come here for lunch. It's, it's a cool place. And these are the famous, the, the bags and the weaving, that seems to be a big thing. Here, oh right? yeah, yeah. These kinds of baskets are very well known in the, the Austral Islands, you know, yeah. the archipelago south of Tahiti. They're beautifully made. Very cool. We, when we were talking before, we talked about the guys wear a, like, a bit like a sarong. Yes. What's that called? Oh, the pario. Like for the dance or even when you're at home, you know? Pareo. So the ladies, they will, tons of way you can tie the pario around your body. Yeah, for the guys, it's mostly by the waist. Is there, is there different designs for men and for women, or is it all? No, no, it depends. No, no, it depends. depends on just your taste, whatever you want. Yeah, what you like. And the pearls, of course, are very popular too. Yeah. There's a long history about pearls in Tahiti. So the, the shell we use, the animal, what they do is that they place a bead inside the shell. Mm -hmm. And actually, the bead is made uh, from another shell, but which comes from the Mississippi River. Really? Yeah, the Mississippi in the, the US. Mississippi River. Yeah. When you put the you know the bead inside the, the shell, yeah. the animal will react. Yeah. You try to reject it, and he will like coat it, coat it with all the layers. Girls. And you have different shapes, different colors, different colors. Yeah. This part is more like fruits, vegetable, fish. As I told you before, King of Taishan can eat fish every day, raw fish. Yeah. A lot of the fish here at the market comes from the Tuamotu Islands, like the lagoon fish. Yeah. And then you have tuna. It's we so love good. it. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, so yeah. Good. Fresh fruits, vegetables. The best time to come to visit the market is actually every Sunday morning. Like the Taishan, they will come here like 5 a.m. to make the market, and there are more and more uh, shops around the market, around the street. Okay. It's like really a street market. And it's the place to be when you arrive uh, in Tahiti. You have to come here at least one time on Sunday morning to see like all the atmosphere, like the locals coming. Head out at 5 a.m. <laughs> and you know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's and really get worth your roast it. pork. It's really worth it. The wood carvings are tremendous. I'm just curious really as to nice. what that is. It's like a bowl. 28,900 Polynesian francs. D'accord. Don't know how much that is. All of these come from the Marquesas Island. Marquesas Island. Yeah. What's the wood, do we know? Rosewood. Rosewood, Rosewood okay. Yeah. Beautiful. One euro is 120 francs. Yeah, this one is 200 euros. 200 euros, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. So how many did you want, sir? They're only 200 euros. <laughs> I think you should be looking at the bigger ones, Ty, really. <laughs> They're not cheap, but then, you know, you think of the workmanship that's gone in it. <laughs> and I do think they are beautiful. Uh, 200 euros, beautiful. I'm not, so, I'm not so sure. Oh, here you go, Ty. Found that for me. That's for you. You've also got a, um, from the dashboard of your car, she hulas and it's done by Sun. Phenomenal. Snow globe. Obviously, for Tahiti, it's natural. 